Welcome back to VTOP10 in today's video we're counting down the 10 Guillermo Rigondo best knockouts. Number 10. Guillermo Rigondo vs Juan Noriega. On May 22, 2009, Rigondo beat Juan Noriega by TKO at 109 in round 3 of 4 at Fontainebleau Hotel Miami Beach, Florida. Oh, it's Noriega, I'd be concerned about. Another series of left hands. Rigondeau. Rigondeau may be the one who came all the way over the ages and over no, he's not an overnight guest. His opponent, Oriega, is intimidated. He's, he's laying back. back. The, body. the punch, but then he left his hand out there and he steered Oriega. He models his legs here at the close of round number one. Connect advantage. A shutout. The 21-year-old Oriega in age than Regan the out, but in experience. That counter right hook was an example. And there's a straight left that got in there. Just look for the spot. There's no snap from Regan Dial with that jab. That's a right hook from the southpaw. Always a difficult part of being that the orthodox fighter. End of round two. An aggressive fighter, to say the least. He's not a really, what I mean by that is a guy who really sets up his offense. Number nine. Guillermo Rigondo versus Giovanni Andrade. On September 18, 2009, Rigondo beat Giovanni Andrade by TKO at 2.53 in round 3 of 10 in one vacant WBA Super Bantamweight title. Very good body punch it out. Sometimes, the certain kind of fighters, they say only have 26 pounds, he's supposed to be 122. It's short. It's a camp of guys with Giovanni Andrade. Bring it down. The distance that he needs for that left uppercut. In other words, he has quit in a fight before. It might be something that he didn't get hit, he took a knee and he got pounded. Freddie Roach has said that he has the talent for that. Like I mentioned earlier, he's a fire fight from taking body shots. Floyd, if he sees his man laying back, will pounce on somebody. Now, you can see Riggin Leal has not learned how to do that too much. You talk about his shot, it seemed like it was a particularly efficient shot. He said, he's shaking his head on it. Number 8. Guillermo Rigondo vs. Giovanni Delgado. On January 13, 2019, Rigondo beat Giovanni Delgado by knockout at 2.59 in round 1 of 8 at Microsoft Theater Los Angeles. And happy to be part of Premier Boxing Champions. And nobody hides here. Everybody has to fight everybody, and he's glad to have. You know, I've never seen a fight like this, even this, this early in a fight. No! Oh! It's a little bit low, a little bit low. You can see it from his face, it's on the side of his face. Put up here, Rigondeau was his favorite fighter, as we'll see. Uh, he's fighting right now. And Delgado, 11 years younger, go for eight. This is the first. And there's the shot. Rigondeau in the red and white inside 20 seconds in round one. 120 pound range. Second of our five fighters live from downtown Los Angeles, right before. And he's down to oh. Nueve Diez. That's it. Number seven. Guillermo Rigondo vs. Julio Seya. On June 23, 2019, Rigondo beat Julio Seya by TKO at 2.59 in round 8 of 12 at Mandalay Bay Event Center Paradise, Nevada. <laughs> told us yesterday, he's never lost to a shot. That's his game plan, he's doing the same. Well, I'm sure he'll try to get to this. Oh. Oh, Eight. Eight. Eight by oh. And Seha. Oh. And he gets hit with that much more. Oh, my goodness. So it's not a foul. Oh. 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 And Seha is dead. With one. Well, he hit him. With that's it. Is it true? Number six. Guillermo Rigondo versus Adolfo Landeros. On February 5, 2010, 
Rigondo beat Adolfo Landeros by knockout at 0-28 in round one of eight at Don Taft University Center, Florida. But since leaving, leaving Cuba, he is now 4-0 as a pro. And Diaz is southpaw. That's only one of the problems for Landeros. The problems, Landeros took this fight on 11 days notice. And a body shot stripped down right away. It was a big, solid body shot by Rigondeau. Over. Get the left hook. And look at the left hand. Well, it's set up with the right hand. Don't miss that punch. Right, watch again. Right hand picks up his arm and then the left hand. Number 5. Guillermo Rigondo vs. Saad Kokiejim. On July 19, 2014, defending WBA Super, WBO, and the Ring Super Bantamweight titles Rigondo beat Saad Kokiejim by knockout at 144 in round 1 of 12. Sintiendo que representaría una victoria aquí y está, estuvo con calma, pero cuando está soltando los golpes, no hace Sar Chávez. Te escucho con atención. Pero fíjate, Rolfo, lo más importante, Rolfo, es que Rigondú. Así es, lo está esperando, le está diciendo, ven, vamos a intercambiar golpes, aquí estoy quieto. Suelta, oh, 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 cuidado. Hacia Rigondú, con la guardia baja y choca. ¡Oh, la recibe! ¡Como ya lo pone! ¡Casi fuera de combate! ¡Está fuera! ¡Se va! Number 4. Guillermo Rigondo vs. Robert Guillén. On July 17, 2009, Rigondo beat Robert Guillén by TKO at 2.57 in round 1 of 4 at Planet Hollywood Resort in Casino, Nevada. Good reflex. You can get rounds with Rigondo if you know what you're doing. You know, you can decide if you don't force him to fight quite often, it'll be a fight. And then you get maybe a little bit of a chance to. Maybe steal portions of the round. He will slip that there. Is. He probably loved Rigan Diao at the kitchen table, at the dining room table, because that's what you know our parents were. They, they didn't want you to waste anything, you know, Joe? Rigan Diao, he... And again, you can see Rigan Diao does a good job of controlling range. Your opponent's offensive mistakes, what's that mean, Joe? What? Got back to safety. Guillen has had two draws in his last two fights. He, See what I'm talking about? That's what I like to see him improve and work on, as I said in the top. And they have a good counter punch. Unbelievable oh. skill out of Rigondeau. Stepped back, and the counter punch scores a knockout win. Number three, Guillermo Rigondeau versus Willie Casey. On March 19, 2011, defending WBA interim super bantamweight title, Rigondeau beat Willie Casey by TKO at 2:35 in round one of 12. Very wide stance from both men. Left hand of Guillermo Rigondo. He's quick of hand, he's quick of foot. Thank you, sir. Casey out ready with a body shot, Jimmy. Those body shots are absolutely devastating. Unbelievable. I think Casey's being hurt early on here. But he's very, very, very dangerous with those left hooks and right hands to the body. Remember, Rigondo took the world, so he can be put on his backside, all right? But not to. Oh, it's another of those. The body and jaw. There's another one to the fist. As it all. He's got the power. He's got your the very yeah. boxer. These body shots are absolutely devastating. Oh, another left hand and does it. Not, I think he does. Jimmy, he's very badly hurt here. He was hurt at least three times in that round. He won't be hurt anymore. Number two. Guillermo Rigondo vs. Tian Kennedy. On June 9, 2012, defending WBA Super Bantamweight title Rigondo beat Tian Kennedy by TKO at 111 in round 5 of 12. I'm not gonna get some of the Cuban fighters, and as we say on points, go accumulating points. And there you see that. Another great straight left hand, and Kennedy buckled, he buckles again on another one. Tian Kennedy may have trouble staying on his feet here in the first round. That Rigondo is putting on it now. And he fires back. Stop. Russell Moore was watching. A power counter puncher? Yeah. And you know, he studied the exact only through 10 power shots in the uh, entire round. Oh. I mean, with his left hand. 
fascinating that he set up the uppercut and there's and he almost went down on two separate occasions in the first round before he acted. Remarkable right there. Another combination on uppercut, and there's the third knockdown. Of the Those season. are the three. Yes. If I had a fighter, I managed a fighter. Knockdown number four. Saw blocks the next punch with his lead hand. Now he rehearses punches again and lands the straight left. That I've never seen anybody do that before. It's not a feint. He's not tricking the guy. Knockdown That's number it. five. Good stoppage. Number one. Guillermo Rigondo versus Rico Ramos. On January 21, 2012, Rigondo beat defending WBA Super Bantamweight title Rico Ramos by knockout at 129 in round 6 of 12. Ramos is in trouble, he's down! Mr. Ropes in some trouble. Another left hand. They are raining down on Ramos. A little bit here in round 2, although Rigondo bears a good straight left hand. He was nervous before his title fight. Rigondo, uh, two fighters, that's a lot. Good body shot by Guillermo. This was a big issue for them, that they, they needed to have a trainer, especially during fights, didn't really set down to throw those hooks. Good left hand. Weiss, arrested the first time. Ah, He's had ah. That case is right. He's going to win. Beautiful footwork. But not for Rigondeau. And a lot is at stake. Uh, you know, when he fought Victor. Oh, no. oh, 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 yeah, yeah. And the left eye of Ramos. He's got a pop. And I'll look at And then... Thank you for watching please like, comment and subscribe.